the works tonight. Yeah. Cows. What's not, the, what's the, it's going to be good, isn't not it? Not too bad, yeah. We've just got a handful of showers, but I don't think there'll be too much trouble from them. Uh, we've had a pretty decent day, but we have had a couple of showers. Have a look at this beautiful sunrise, though, from Rockford Common in Ringwood, which was taken this morning by Nick Lucas. Thank you very much. Wonderful scene here. Uh, this is the wheat harvest going on. That's at Crondall, uh, captured by Lewis Horsley. Well done. And Tim Bayliss sent us this shot with, of the crashing waves in East Preston this morning. Thank you very much. So we have had some uh, quieter winds today. It hasn't been quite as gusty as we saw yesterday. Cows, the winds there were around 20 to 25 miles per hour. And the breeze will be uh, staying light through the course of this evening and tonight as well. We'll have one or two showers through this evening, but generally they're starting to fade away and ease through the coming hours. And we'll see some clear spells developing as well. So overhead with those clear skies, those temperatures will take a bit of a knock down to around 13 or 14 degrees degrees maybe a little fresher out in the countryside so it's a bright start for many of us first thing tomorrow morning we'll see, see some decent sunshine early on gradually though the showers start to approach from the west now these have the potential to be really quite heavy possibly with some thunder maybe some hail as well and to the north of the m4 corridor that's where we could see the worst of them but just about anywhere could catch one or two of those downpours either side of those showers though there will be some bright and sunny spells and given some good sunshine those temperatures up to around 19 degrees. Now those showers fade away so actually tomorrow evening is set fair we should see some decent evening sunshine and then into tomorrow night well it looks like it will be generally quite dry and with clearing skies our temperatures heading down further still so temperatures down to around 10 or 11 that's for our towns and cities so fresher out in the countryside and into single figures here. So we start the day on Sunday with a bit of a fresh start really but we'll have some good brightness through the early part of the day, some good sunshine to get the day going, gradually starting to see the cloud increasing as this low pressure system approaches and that will bring us extra cloud through the day on Sunday and then this is what's waiting in the wings to join us on Monday. Let's take a look at the summary then through the coming days. One or two heavy showers possible through the day tomorrow, maybe with some thunder and hail. Sunday looks to be a drier and brighter day of the weekend. There will be some outbreaks of rain pushing through on Monday, but cloudy at times, and then things become more settled through the middle part of next week. A lot of people would be very happy with that, particularly those who are camping this Absolutely. last week and had the rain on them. Uh, that's it from us. Fireworks tonight, of course, you're going to have to see much of it uh, along the south coast as well as, of course, on the island. Uh, we've got the football season starting tomorrow. Fastnet goes off tomorrow. Glorious Goodwood finishes tomorrow. And, uh, oh, there's <laughs> bound to be something else. So it's a busy weekend. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week. Bye-bye. Good night.